Hi everyone, it's a beautiful day here at the HD HHI Ozan Shipyard as the Korean shipbuilder is delivering Zhengzhou the Great, the first of the KDX-3 Batch 2 destroyer for the ROC Navy. I am now meeting with uh, Mr. Wu, Executive Vice President of the Spe Special Ships uh, Business Unit on this uh, important day. Mr. Wu, great to see you again. Yeah, very nice to see you again. Yeah. What is your feeling today on this very important milestone for the KDX-3 Batch 2 program? Yeah, you know, this is the latest Aegis destroyer. So I'm very happy and I'm very much proud that we have this latest Aegis destroyer delivered on time very successfully. Would you agree that uh, this very complex uh, ship uh, shows that uh, HG HHI can design and produce uh, advanced warships for customers around the world? Yes, we are. I'm there to say that uh, we are very much capable of designing and building this kind of latest, not only Aegis destroyers, but also the frigate as well, and submarine. So Hyundai will not be hesitant to be in the front line to expert as many as we can with this wonderful track record based on the, on the performance uh, we deliver to the Korean Navy. Mr. Wu, thank you very much. Thank you so much and hope to see you again soon. We are now joining uh, Anyuk Cha, Naval News Korea correspondent, to find out more about uh, Zhengzhou the Great. Anyuk, it's great to have you for the very first time in one of our video. Can you please uh, start by uh, telling us some of the specifications of this uh, large DDG? Yes, thank you, Xavier. Uh, KDX-3 Batch 2, uh, Chengdu the Great Class Destroyer for the Rock Navy is 8,200 ton light load. Uh, it's uh, 170 meters long and its beam is 21 meters. All right, so that's uh, one of the, well, it is now the largest uh, surface combatant in the, in the Rock Navy fleet, I believe. Uh, what's pretty unique about it, uh, even for uh, Aegis uh, destroyers worldwide is that it combines both uh, American weapon systems and uh, domestic weapon systems. Uh, the, the American weapon systems, so of course, is the Aegis uh, combat system suite uh, with uh, it's the BMD Baseline 9 C2 K2, I believe. This is what uh, Lockheed Marine told us at previous uh, MADEX, uh, the Naval Defense Exhibition in Busan. Uh, for missiles, it's going to be SM2, SM3 and SM6? Yes, uh, for the missiles, the uh, Korean government recently stated that they will procure those uh, SM3 and SM6 missiles for the, the new Zhengzhou the Great class so that they would have the BMD capabilities unlike the previous uh, Sejong the Great class. So that's one of the main missions of those ships, so ballistic missile defense, basically to protect uh, South Korea from uh, potential uh, North Korean uh, ballistic missiles. To go back to uh, what we were saying previously, so it does have uh, Korean combat systems and sensor systems as well. Can you tell us more about this? So it has different VLS to launch those Korean systems. Yes, the, uh, the Zhengzhou Great class has the Mark 41 VLS uh, from the US uh, arsenal, which would hold the SM2, SM3, and SM6, but it will also have the KVLS-1, which the ROC Navy uses to have certain uh, short-range air defense missiles like the KSAM, or the, for the ASW capabilities, uh, it will have uh, Red Shark, uh, KSROC uh, uh, missiles as well. So KSROC, yeah, so uh, basically an uh, anti-submarine rocket, so it's a missile that goes out at sea and kill the, the submarines. Uh, there will be also another set of VLS aft on top of the helicopter hangar? Yes, uh, the Zhengzhou the Great class will also have KVLS-2 as well, which is currently under development. And the, during the tour, uh, HDHHI has, uh, I mentioned that the cert, uh, only the test modules are currently mounted on the Zhengzhou the Great class. Uh, but after the development is done, it will be delivered to the ROC Navy so that the Zhengzhou the Great class will have full capabilities with the KVLS-2, which will also assist in the Korea's KMPR uh, doctrine as well, because they will hold the uh, ballistic missiles that could target from surface to land, to especially to target North Koreans' uh, uh, maybe coastal batteries or the, uh, or the missile bases that are 
and on the cost and on the land. And KPMR stands for, do you know? Uh, Korea is a massive uh, punishment and retaliation. So indeed, multi-role uh, ships or so ballistic missile defense strike uh, against land targets, so it can act a little bit, a little bit like an arsenal ship because, well, uh, having ballistic missiles on the surface ship that's quite uh, unique worldwide. Uh, what else? Anti-submarine warfare as well. It features a fully Korean uh, integrated uh, sonar suite. Yeah, I believe the sonar system is a. Uh developed by ADD and also it's manufactured by the LIG next one uh, which will uh, greatly increase the ASW capabilities for the Rock Navy and also the ship has a total ray sonar system but also has a uh, variable depth sonar uh, in the rear so and also yeah and that's the first for the Rock Navy ship to have a VDS as well I believe I believe it's the first time that the Rock Navy is having a VDS on a com uh, surface combatant ship and also uh, I believe that the Rock Navy is now getting the uh, Seahawks MR uh, MA60R uh, Seahawks which would also assist in the ASW warfare all right, well, uh, I believe that's uh, pretty thorough. Then, I mean, of course, there's the Mark 45 uh, Mod 4 naval gun system but, uh, by BAE system, but it's actually uh, produced here in Korea under license by uh, Hyundai Wea. Uh, as you can see, there's a phalanx uh, closing weapon system, up mast, uh, in addition to the American system, so of course, the Spy 1F system uh, and the fire control radar. Uh, like that dish on top of the bridge. There's a number of uh, Korean system, like the EW suite is the, the Sonata, and as you can see, it's the same one on the DDG as on the future frigate, the Changnam. And uh, on top of the mast, there's also, I believe, uh, a Korean uh, radar system. So it's a mix, really, of uh, American and Korean, both weapon systems and uh, sonar system. And uh, lastly, the New frigate behind us, uh, that's the Changnam, the first of the FFX Batch 3 ships. And this is said to be delivered uh, pretty soon uh, in, in December. Yes, I believe that's right. The new uh, Chengzhou the Great class is a beautiful mix of the American weapon system and uh, uh, Rep Republic of Korea's weapon system, as you mentioned. And I believe the FFX will, is planned to be delivered soon as well. FFX is fully Korean system or almost fully Korean system on board. All right, Anuk, thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier. And that was our coverage of the delivery of uh, Zhangzhou the Great, uh, the first KDX-3 batch 2 ship to the Rock Navy by uh, HD Hyundai Heavy Industry. We were in Ulsan, South Korea.